Hi, this is Jennifer Vanderbeek, Imagine Artist in Residence, and in today's video I'm going to get a jump start on Christmas prep by creating this naughty or nice reversible stocking. So I'm starting with a red felt stocking. I actually sewed this one up, but of course pre-made is fine. And I attached a piece of linen as a cuff. And inside that cuff, I'm slipping in a piece of heavy watercolor paper. This is just to give me a nice surface to work on and also protect the stocking underneath for when we get into the wet techniques in a bit. I used a pencil to lightly sketch in my letters so that I could make sure I had my spacing correct before I went in with my fabric marker in poppy red to spell out naughty on one side in kind of tall skinny block letters and then I'm going to use the brush tip on the other side of the stocking and do some bounce lettering calligraphy for the nice side to decorate these I'm going to use a combination of Fabrico markers as well as the all-purpose ink. I'm starting with the all-purpose ink in spring green and a Fantastics to sketch out and fill in some free-handed holly leaves and then I'm going to use Red Delicious and a bullet tip Fantastics to add in the little holly berries. Now on the nice side I use the poppy red Fabrico marker to sketch out a poinsettia flower and then added a few leaves with spring green. You could of course use a stamp if you have one that's the right size for your design, absolutely. I didn't, so I'm freehanding. And then as I fill in the poinsettia leaves with Red Delicious all-purpose ink, I am leaving little gaps between each leaf and each layer of leaves so that I can more easily find my edges as I go back in with the Burgundy Fabrico marker to add shading and detail to each of the petals. And I'm going to do the same thing on the leaves using the Emerald Fabrico marker to add, again, shading and veins in the leaves, all that good stuff. I'm also going to add a little bit of detail on the naughty side <laughs> to those holly leaves with the same markers. And then go back and hit each of the letters with the Burgundy Fabrico marker to add kind of a drop shadow effect, to add a little bit of depth. Now here comes the fun part. Not that the first part wasn't fun, but this I think gives it a little bit extra. I'm going to do some heat embossing on fabric, which you can do with a number of products. I tested out several on scrap pieces of linen before I decided that using on point glue to add my fine detailed lines and dots for my leaves and flowers and also highlights on my lettering worked the best because it gave me a nice stand up effect and allowed me to get very detailed images. So you wanna sprinkle the embossing powder on like you would glitter and then work in small sections so that you get maximum hold on the glue, but the glue is gonna hold it really well so that you can fill out your whole design and then go in with the heat gun and heat it up. This is also why you want to make sure you use a natural fiber for the cuff because you are going to be subjecting it to heat and you do not want your fabric to melt. So make sure that it is a heat resistant fabric. Maybe do a little test before you get too far in your design. And that's it. It's a nice, easy, fun way to embellish a little bit of fabric art. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And as always, for more tips and inspirations, please point your browser to imaginecrafts.com.